Now the North Pole is the center of an ocean about 10,000 feet deep. The South Pole is the center of a plateau about 10,000 feet high. The North Polar Sea is surrounded by continents. It's frozen over eternally. The Antarctic continent is surrounded by frozen seas. Up north, there's abundant life in places. You have the northernmost animal, the muskox. And there's a polar bear. And the seal, the walrus, the reindeer, the wolf, the fox, and innumerable birds in the summer. And the temperature gets up to 40, 45 degrees. And there's the northernmost Eskimo village in the world. You have a, a few mosquitoes. Down south, beyond the edge of the continent, there's no vestige of life. Just the uh, primitive plant life you found on the mountain peaks, stuck above the snow. And the only creature that has survived that uh, cold down there is the Emperor Pendant. We have some summer visitors. The Emperor Pendant stays there all the time. On the edge of the continent only, he doesn't live beyond the edge. Lost the use of his wings for flying. Turned to the water for his food. In the summer, the little Adelie penguin comes down. Nest up north, however. The score gull, and the petrels, the seal, and the whale. They are not there. So down south, you have a continent cold and silent and dead. far colder than the north. In Middle America, on the uh, first expedition, we had the coldest average temperature ever recorded, that is, for period of the year. In advanced space, this time we had 10 degrees or 15 degrees colder even in Middle America. One temperature as low as 80 below zero. It's a common thing to have it there between 60 and 70 over the No coal that you'll bet if you get it freezing it comes up. Now, you say, why is the south so much colder than the north? It is because there is going on down there a sinister ice age. In its full flood tide, just such an ice age as we had up north 30,000 years ago came down as far as Ohio.